Hello guys and welcome back. You know, I'm so lucky to have viewers who actually inspire me to create content. For example, recently I put up a poll asking what brands you would like compared. If you wanted to see Filson versus Patagonia, Carhartt versus Dickies, things like that. So people voted and in the comments section, there was a lot of different discussion going on. And one person made the suggestion or actually wondered out loud if Tough Duck was actually making the products for Filson's CCF line. Now this definitely piqued my interest because I have sort of a love-hate relationship with Filson. I love some of their products. Some of their other ones I think miss the mark somewhat and they really get away from their roots. But anyway, I decided to do a little bit of my own investigation. I went to each of their websites, Tough Duck and Filson CCF. You know, if you look at some of their products, their bomber jacket, their vest, they look very, very similar. And when you look at the specs, things look even more like, you know, maybe Tough Duck is actually making this for Filson. Now that's not a big deal. Companies do this all the time. They white label a product because maybe they don't have the ability to work in duck or leather or whatever it is. They have another company make it, one that they trust to their specs. They then slap their name on it and then they sell it to you. This happens all the time. The problem is though, is that the Filson version is double what the Tough Duck is. So like I said, they look very similar. And if you were to look at the specs and look at the pictures side by side, I would say, yeah, these are the same vest. There's no doubt about it, but there's only one way to be sure. So I bought both. Now I wanted to compare two of the same models and unfortunately the CCF bomber jacket was sold out. So I settled on the work vest. After all, it looks like basically the same thing as the bomber with the sleeves removed. And the CCF comes in this really interesting green color. I just went with a regular brown for the tough duck. So they finally came in. First of all, there's no doubt about it. Filson's packaging is a lot better. They come in a nice box and you open it up. It's inside of a bag. The tough duck just sort of came in a polyester bag and, and you know, it's ready to wear. If that means something to you, well, Filson definitely has an edge there. So when I took both vests out of their packaging, the first thing I thought is <laughs> they're the same vest. They looked the same. The, the tags on them were in the same place. The, everything about them looked exactly the same, but that wasn't enough. I had to get in there and start measuring things and really look at them side by side. And upon further inspection, there were definitely differences between the two. As a matter of fact, there is one big thing which would absolutely make me choose one over the other, but we'll get to that a little bit later. I wanna tell you about the things that are the same between these two vests. They are both made from 12 ounce, 100% cotton duck. They both feature a quilted polyester lining. They feature ribbed knit hems, collar, and side panels. Both are triple stitched and riveted at stress points. Both use the same gauge YKK zipper with a branded pull tag. Both have the same hanger loop on the back. Both have the same number and layout of interior and exterior pockets. Both are made in Canada. And it's really only when you put these side by side that you start to notice the differences, things beyond just looking at them online. For example, the Tough Duck side panels are about two inches longer, taller. So that way it actually equals a smaller armhole. Now that's not a big deal, especially something like this. It's not like a small armhole is really constricting. I mean, two inches isn't really a whole lot, but what it actually adds up to is a little bit more space to put pockets on. And all of the pockets on the Tough Duck are slightly larger than the Filson. I mean, I'm talking about three quarters of an inch, you know, a little bit here and there, but they're all just a little bit bigger. But the rib knit material on the hem and the collar and on the side panels of the Filson is not only softer and stretchier and more pliable, there's also more of it, it's thicker. So where you have an inch and a quarter on the Tough Duck, you have two inches plus on the Filson all the way around. Now this is a little bit nice, especially when it comes to the collar and what's against your skin. The side panels and stuff like that, I guess it's nice to have that stretch. I, I really don't see any issue with the Tough Duck version. If you're stretching and reaching up above your head, they're both gonna do fine. They're vests after all. Now I mentioned that the Tough Duck pockets are slightly bigger than the Filson's, but the Filson interior pockets have better reinforcing at the corners. It's really strange because 
Some things seem to make sense and some don't. This is definitely a nice feature and seeing that reinforcing at the edge means that no matter what you're putting into that interior pocket, it'll have the tendency to hold up a lot better. The tough duck by comparison, they seem a little bit flimsy. Now, both of these vests feature a drop tail. And this is really nice, especially when you're bending down or you're crouching, it helps cover up your plumber's crack, right? So what's interesting though, is that this Filson CCF version that is just a little bit longer. But the big one, the one that would make me choose one over the other hands down, is the fact that the Filson zipper is on the left hand side. So this is kind of the way I guess a lot of women's clothes are laid out with buttons and zippers where the actual zipper head is on the left side of the garment. This is very hard to get used to because I guess the way it started was back in the day when Victorian era clothing was very popular. You needed somebody to kind of help you get into these things. And so women had other women who would help them get dressed. And so it was easier for them to, if you're, if you're dressing somebody from that side, it's easier to button it the way you're used to. That's, that's the story that I read. I don't know. But all I know is that it's almost like trying to write with your non-dominant hand. When you go and try to zip that up on the wrong side, when your entire life, men's clothing, have had the zipper on the right side, it's, it's really awkward. And it took me quite a few tries to get that thing zipped up. I mean, it's not a deal breaker for some people. But for me, when I'm working out in the cold, and I, you know maybe I have gloves on or something that even makes me less dexterous, well, then it's a big deal to be able to zip up my, my vest. That right there is enough for me to pick the Tough Duck over the Filson, even if the price was the same. Now, as a vest in and of itself, I actually really like this layout, especially with the chest pockets. It's pretty cool because often you have a work shirt underneath your vest and that's where you keep your pen or your marker, but it's nice to be able to have that on the outside. So even if you have small tools or something, you have a little place to put them. It's, it's welcomed. I really appreciate that a lot. My Carhartt vest that I've had for years doesn't have this. So it's a nice change of pace. There's no doubt. I really like the model. But all those things aside, the reinforced pockets, the slightly longer hem, the softer rib knit material around your, your neck and around the hem and on the sides, it simply doesn't justify the nearly 100% markup for the Filson CCF version of this, this vest. I just don't understand where the, the extra money is going. Some people might be impressed that it says Filson. It doesn't even say Filson on the vest. It says CCF. And unless you're somebody who's a nerd about this stuff like I am, you don't know what that means. So I don't understand. There's not even like a label thing about it where, oh, well, it says Filson so clearly it's worth, you know, twice as much. I do not see the benefit. And especially when it comes to workwear. Workwear, the number one rule is that it's function first, form after. I don't care if it's a great color, if it's a nice slim cut, if it you know fits you like a glove, all this stuff, if it doesn't actually work in protecting you and supporting you while you're working. These both function excellent as workwear. So why would I pay double for one when I have the other one, which has basically all the same features, and the additional zipper on the right side? I mean, so it's, to me, it's a no brainer. The reason I'm doing this is not to call out Filson. I actually really like Filson. I have quite a few of their products. It's not to call out Filson. As I described in the beginning of the video, a lot of companies white label stuff. I just, my allegiance is to the consumer, to you, the person who is going to buy these things. So if I can help you make the right choice for yourself, and maybe that is Filson, you at least need to be informed because when you look at these both on the website, they look like the same vest. They don't mention that zipper thing. So doing something like this is my own kind of version of investigative journalism, I guess you want to call it. It's helping you make the right decision for yourself. But for me, I'd rather buy two of the tough duck vests, you know, and have one as a backup than one of the Filson CCF. I think it's, uh, they are, there's no doubt about it that, that, Tough Duck is actually making these for Filson. It just makes sense. For me though, my mileage, my money, I would go with the Tough Duck. So anyway guys, let me know what you think. I'm a little bit discouraged because Filson I thought really had a good thing with this CCF line. They did seem a bit expensive and looking at it now, 
you might as well just go with tough duck. I mean, it's made in Canada, made well, nice, you know, duck canvas, the whole nine. Might as well get it. If you really, really want a Filson vest, I would suggest going with their oil tin cloth vest or even better, their Mackinac wool vest, especially if you're looking for something to layer underneath a jacket. That Mackinac wool is awesome. So if you need a Filson vest, go ahead and get that. It's like 25 bucks more. It's more along the lines of Filson and their build quality with their legendary Mackinac wool. That's the one that I would buy. So anyway, guys, please let me know your thoughts. What do you think of Filson CC up? Do you want me to look at more of their stuff? Is this enough? <laughs> you know, you've seen enough. You don't want to go with them anymore. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, how do you like the new background? This is actually going to be the new set that I'll be filming all my stuff in. It's not quite finished yet. As you can see, there's still some insulation up here and stuff. Uh, it's not done yet, but it's coming along. So let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.